we were at the English car company and I had to decide which Jaguar I was going to take. I'm taking that one. And Michael is driving his McLaren. We're going to the uh, Sunset Gran Turismo, which is in Hollywood off of Sunset Boulevard. Never been to this show. I figure we take something really cool. to a show that, not, have you been this before? Never. Okay, so neither of us have gone to this show. Correct. I mean, this show has not seen your cars. Correct. But I hear there's some stunning cars there. Yeah, the, yeah undoubtedly, there are going to be so. some fantastic cars. Thank you again. So we're going to go have a, a little bit of fun today, and, and hopefully we'll see some neat stuff. Absolutely. Right, and what are we driving today? The Jaguar SVR 2017. Okay. One of the fastest production Jaguars built, 201 miles an hour. Not that we'll be doing that. Right. And the McLaren MP412C. Yeah, you know what happens when we do that? Speeding tickets. <laughs> we, <laughs> we get to meet all kinds of friendly cops. Yes, we do. Yeah, so we're going to take it easy, but we'll have fun. Okay. fastest Jaguar. Right here. If this is the first time that you've seen Michael and I take out a couple of these cars, you're in for a treat. Just as long as we don't get in any trouble, kind of like we did last time. first one's here. There's nobody else in the lot. I think that uh, we just left a bit early, which I'm glad we did because you guys are going to blow your mind when you see this view. Another thing about getting here early is I can show you some things that you won't necessarily see in the show just yet. This is Aston Martin's new car. Uh, there's no one at the show yet, so they haven't taken the covers off, but it's gonna be on display and we're kind of seeing it first. It looks pretty good in that color. Where the Aston's gonna go. Had I known, I would have parked my Jaguar there.
uh, Sunset Gran Turismo. Uh, there's so many Lambos, I can't even count them all. And they just keep rolling in. As well as some of the Bentleys and the Rolls Royces. would anticipate maybe a couple hundred million dollars worth of cars in this lot. It's including this challenge right here. This is kind of Ferrari Row. It is a freaking zoo here at Sunset Gran Turismo. There are so many cars, so many people hanging out. Oh, my screen is dirty. Let's keep rolling in. Past hour or so, let's keep rolling. most people get a chance to experience let alone see Greg, yeah you know there's that's not that actually, many this particular one is the first customer car in USA really and it was presented to us in Pebble Beach uh-huh uh, back in I believe it was August last year what? and it's it's basically the first customer car why why this car for you I mean there's a lot of incredible designs out there right uh, you know a lot of appreciation for the culture but you know why this car for you what is special about this for you First, it's my third Bugatti, okay. yeah. and I also collect every other car, so yeah. Bugatti is definitely still considered the best car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By far. Yeah. You know, we're going to have a surprise. We're going to bring something here. We can't divulge yet when, okay. but it'll be one in the world. Fantastic. So well, I'm looking forward to it. You make sure you follow because once this car is here, okay, it is something that is totally worth coming over. Here. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you so Very much. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you.
lots of amazing cars. Uh, yeah. Been here for about five hours now, so I think it's time to go in this puppy. show i've never been sunset gt full uh, of gts so much stuff so it was uh, hard to absorb like 25 lamborghinis 30 for 200 million dollars worth of cars yes, yes. in the line Easily. uh what Easily. what did you like what's the no. bugatti the bugatti yeah you don't get to the see weird, those the weird mirror lamborghini yep with purple trim <laughs> i can um, see you driving that yeah <laughs> she was a lambo Oh, Lambo. Okay, off-road right, right, Lambo. Off -road Lambo. Right, yeah, right, right, yeah, right. that would be kind of fun too. Yeah. But I don't think we'll do those in your car. No. no okay. No. All right. Well, okay. thank you, Michael. Thank you. Very thank cool. Thank you. Excellent. You know, uh, car culture is very diverse. Up in Ventura, you have guys that are custom builders, and they're they're very unique. They're artisans. Uh, they're it's a bit of a younger crowd. As you get further south, towards into Malibu, you have the kind of the, the aggregation of, of all kinds of different cars that that exist in one hotbed, from the muscle cars to the rat rods to the the classics to exotics to hyper cars. Towards Santa Monica, and you get down further, you get some of the older guys that that. Um, that have some of the classics all the way down to Donut Derelicts and, and then down to even as far as uh, Newport Beach and you have, once again, the exotics and the high-end cars. But this show today, uh, this show obviously was a very specific type of, of car culture. There's the dynamic of a lot of the drivers who uh, obviously were very wealthy and then you have the younger kids that were crazed. I mean, they were freaked out, some of them. At, at the sight of these cars. Now, for me, I, you know, I'm, I'm around these cars all the time and it's not a big deal to see a Ferrari go by or, or a Lamborghini or even a Bugatti from time to time. But some of these kids, uh, you know, they're, they're in their younger 20s. Uh, they, they aspire because it that car represents something for them that they think will, will bring them happiness. It'll it'll bring them fulfillment. The truth is, if you're, you're my age or you're a little bit older, you know that that's really not the case. That's not really how it works. The secret is, is to find what you love to do. I know that they love cars and they love these specific particular kind of cars then they love that baller type of life and they think if they have all those things then life will be complete but the truth is you know I know a lot of guys that are incredibly wealthy and their, their life is a mess and I know some people that are uh, you know not so wealthy and their life is pretty good they're you know they're happy and and uh, they got all the things that they want and they do all the things that they do on this vlog we're trying to show you to 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 do the things you love and to love what you do our job is to help you to improve your life through what you love and, and that means you've got to identify that thing you got to you got to figure out what that is and that thing isn't is isn't a thing you buy. It isn't what you have. It isn't what you do. It's who you are. You want to be some somebody that, that makes a difference in this world, then you just have to start now. You have to start making a difference now. You got to start acting and being a, a particular way, a certain way. It involves a, a particular kind of way and also to be certain, to be clear on what it is that you want for your life. That show today, uh, that, that's a big facade. You know, it's, it's you know, you, you don't know these guys real lives and you don't know what, what they're into and you just need to see them rolling in in these amazing cars and you assume. There's no judgment. You know, everyone's doing the best that they can. You know this. You're doing the best that you can. I'm doing the best that I can. I got a chance to meet a lot of really, really interesting people, a lot of great people today and I'm grateful to that. But I'm especially grateful to Michael Axon for allowing me to join in to be able to drive these cars and to have a good time. I love hanging out with you guys. I appreciate you watching the show. I appreciate anything you can do to help us grow and expand because if you guys are enjoying yourself, I know there's other people out there that are going to enjoy it too. Do what you love. Love what you do. We'll see you guys tomorrow.